Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm here with some Marvel Snap. And since I've played the game much more since you last seen it, as you can see here, I am level 2000, of oh, collection level 2110. Um, I do not have every single unit in the game, which I am constantly angry about. I actually, the ones I'm missing that are big ones are magic. I don't have magic. I don't have um, the destroyer, and I don't have... Uh, Mr. Negative, which is a real shame because Mr. Negative is really good. I don't have Cerebro, but here you go. What is Marvel Snap? In case you don't know what Marvel Snap is, Marvel Snap is a trading card game that is coming out on the 18th, and I've been playing it in beta for a months now, so I've been playing a whole bunch, as you can see here, as my collection of dudes is pretty crazy big. So I just wanted to play some play some with some of the more updated decks now that I understand the game a little bit more I figured why not go in there and try some stuff today I think I'm going to play as what's a fun deck I think I'm gonna go with Dipole there you go that's gonna be today's video I hope you like it if you do you can leave a like comment down below if there's any specific deck you want to see as you can see here I have a lot of characters and there's a lot of different decks you can make with a whole bunch of different characters so if you're interested in seeing one feel free to tell me um, and I'll try and see what I can do with the dudes I have though some of them I just can't do like specifically um, uh, Like I said the mr. Negative and the destroyer deck Though funny enough this deck is basically a destroyer deck without the destroyer So this is the deck I've called uh, die pool. This is my own personal name for it I think this is a very pretty easy thing to do here So the entire deck rolls around Deadpool Deadpool whenever he's destroyed returns to your hand and you double his power and basically all the other cards here either destroy or you want to see get destroyed as quickly as possible. Such as Bucky here, who when he dies he turns into the Winter Soldier, which is right here. Um, Car uh, Carnage, who gets a plus two power for each card destroyed. Wolverine, who gets to go into a new place if he ends up dying. Uh, Venom gets to gains the power of every single character that he kills. This is important, this is a Killmonger, he kills all one cost units. Lady Death, who is your, basically your showstopper because she costs one less for each card that died, so it's possible for her to cause zero. And a bunch of other dudes. Some other people that you can run in here that I don't have is specifically Wave. Wave really helps with the deck because it can make it so um, Death's natural cost is four, and then if you had at least four death she's a zero cost so on turn six it's impossible for you to have to play two units where wave could in theory block out your opponent from doing anything that final turn besides summoning one unit so yeah let's go in here go that's a lot of preamble but yeah that's the deck so yeah the game's improved a whole bunch it's really nice Ooh, we got deadpool starting off that's good that's not good so i think i'm going to I don't know if I want to carnage so early with so little to gain. I'm so afraid of what this middle thing could be, but I'm going to play in the middle. Deadpool. Okay. Ooh, no cards are good this turn. That's not great for me. Ooh. I'll take that. Thank you very much. So, you don't want to use Killmonger until you know your opponent has a little bit more. Until you can get more value from the ones that you kill. Ooh, that's pretty nice for me. I think I'll go here. Ah, oh, should I push my luck and put down Sabretooth? The only thing that I fear is them using something like Green Goblin, and then Green Goblin will completely screw up what I'm doing here and won't kill Deadpool. <laughs> so I'll go with this. I'll go for the easy straight safe strat and hope to God that Wolverine falls on the Crimson Cosmo because I don't have any one to two costs that I can play here. So as you can see here, Deadpool gets a little bit stronger. Damn it, he goes to the wrong place. Daredevil control, that's not good. Yeah, that's great though. <laughs> Thank you. He was too late to stop it. All right. All right, now we're gonna have some fun. So now we have enough deaf dudes to get Deadpool rolling. So now Deadpool goes from a two cost to a four cost. And he goes back to my hand. Oh, you're too late with the Killmonger, I'm sorry. Uh, ooh. Turn five. I think I'll go here, here, here. Oh, I'm not gonna get enough deaths to get Lady to get Lady Death all the way down to the lower. So this the deck he's specifically running is a controller with um, with Daredevil, so he knows exactly where I'm gonna be playing my dudes. But in theory, it shouldn't matter too much. So Deadpool's now at a cost one. 
there's Goblin. Sure, that's fine with me. So, I have Death. I think I'll put her here. Now, here's the funny thing. There's a 25% chance that Deadpool dies and returns to my hand and I lose. So... <laughs> Oh, it's okay. I put it retreated. Thank God. Boom, ba da dun dun dun. So yeah, that's what the Daredevil deck kind of wants to do is that they want to see so that he could put this at the most devastating spot. I would have honestly put him over here, but I guess he didn't want to get too much value from it because of Carnage and stuff like that. I forgot to mention, there is other cards that you can also run here that I'm not specifically running, which are cards that buff Deadpool. Um, I don't run those just because... I don't know. I don't feel like running those. <laughs> That's why I don't run them. It's a pretty good backup plan, though, in case things go bad. Not a great, not a great starting hand. No Deadpool. Let's pass it over here. Ah, uh, that's a little bit better. Wolverine's always nice. We can pull Wolverine here. Win the Baxter building. That's bad. That, uh, thank God that Deadpool was not in my hand, otherwise I would have completely killed whatever- Oh, that's bad! <laughs> that's very bad. Uh, shit. So TVA makes it so this game ends in two turns. It ends in one turn, so that's not good. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Uh, here's what I think I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go here. And then we'll see what happens here. Depending on what he plays here, I'll... Oh, okay, that's fine. Brood! Okay, that's fine. Okay. Ah, that's not great. Um... No. I think what I'm gonna do here is hope to god that Wolverine lands on a better spot. Okay. Go. I think I win this, actually. Yeah, I win this, unless he has something crazy. That's something crazy! I win! <laughs> Just barely! <laughs> tie! No, it's a tie! Uh, was it really two apart? It was two apart. He got so lucky with that scorpion play. Alright, fine. Nothing happens in a tie. I love that then you get a little bit of that. That's fine with me. Let's go in for another one for another good old Deadpool time. Yeah, TVA is maybe the most annoying because no deck can win in turn four, basically. Not the, and there's very few decks that can. Actually, there is a couple, but not a lot. Crimson says, okay. Do I really want to show my hand with Deadpool this early when I know for a fact I'm not going to be doing anything? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. In theory, if I could get Nova, that'd be great. What does he know that I don't know? Oh. Hmm. Actually. I'll go here. I don't know why he put stuff here, but I'm gonna put my squirrels here. Ah! That's the reason why. Okay. So, in case there's Green Goblin, I'm just I'm not gonna play anything. Green Goblin has as absolutely a bastard that has ruined a lot of my plays, so I'm gonna give proper respect to a potential Goblin play. It's so hard to know when someone's gonna have a card like that, though. So, a lot of the time, you just kind of run with it. Same thing goes for Cosmo. Cosmo would completely wreck me. Uh, armor, stuff like that, but there's just no way for me to know. So, you just kind of gotta go with your gut. Alright. Jubilee, that's gonna win him that over there, that's for sure. Hmm. So... Eee, that's not great, but it's fine. It wasn't anything that I would've cared too much about, I think. Ooh. So I think I'm gonna go here. Let me see. Ah, oh, damn it, if there was a way for me to play Venom, that'd be great. I'm gonna go for the most kills possible to get her as low as I can. Okay, I think that will drop her down to a four. But if I go over there, she'll drop down to a three cost. Do I need a three cost? Let's 
So if I go here... No, but I can't do it, okay. I'm just gonna go with my original play, which was this. Hmm. Oh, that actually helps me a whole bunch. No! Damn it, he screwed me up. It's fine. He got me here. He got me with that play, but it's fine. We can't play a card there. I'm gonna give him a... Give that... Say thank you, buddy. I'm very bold here. I could easily lose my eight. But you know what? He gave me a taunt. I have to follow through. If I lose eight cubes, I lose eight cubes. But he probably has no idea that I have death in my hand. And he feels like he's one with that. But... I actually don't know why he snapped. I, I'm winning the middle row. He has to have something amazing at, to put in the first row. That is more than 12. Uh, if he has Magneto, maybe. I'm trying to think of like what he could potentially have. No, Magneto doesn't save him either. Because all it does is move my Venom. Ah! <laughs> I think... <laughs> Get fucked, dude. <laughs> I win that one. Uh, does he have anything? Yeah, alright. <laughs> We're good. we good here. This is a good, it was a good fight. It was a good fight. You know, he could have easily have gotten me with that, to be honest. He had, if I did not have anyone but death in my hand, I would have lost. But anyway, that's it for today's video. I think I'm going to do a little bit more of some Marvel Snap videos, see if people end up liking them. But to be honest, I just have fun playing it. So as long as I can keep playing it, I'm going to keep making videos for it. So that's the end of today's video, everyone. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.